from Knoxville. Before the A, we've got to run the B. Danny Lasoski has won more races here than any other driver, including four nationals. Can the dude do it again? Wednesday, pride, passion, and titles go on the line in a best three out of five showdown settled on the quarter mile. It's a duel between heart and horsepower. Don't miss Pink's Wednesday night beginning at 9 Eastern with an all-new episode at 9.30, 8.30 Pacific, only on speed. There is the car that belongs to the dude. Owned by Dennis Roth, a great team. They've won the Nationals here together before. Going to try to do it again. If I'm not mistaken, I believe Daniel Lasowski's first ever it was. Nationals wins in that car, Dennis Roth. It was. And of course, Lasowski has won this race on the very bottom, and he's won it going upstairs too. And it shows you that you can win this race from either group. But I think if you talk to him, if he'd admit it, I think he would prefer the bottom. He seems to really be good. He's, he's good at pedaling the race car. What we mean by that is running the gas pedal and the brake pedal at the same time. Not necessarily getting clear out of the throttle, easing up on the throttle and riding the brake pedal around the bottom, keeping the car nice and straight. Lasowski very good on that. And as I said earlier tonight, the racetrack is pretty much to his liking the way it is right now. Do you see him then hugging the bottom all the way around and living up to his other nickname? The dude is one nickname, but a lot of people call him the catfish because he dwells on the bottom of this thing. Well, I would hope so. I would bet you that's where he's going to be. We'll just have to wait and see if the car's set up for him down there. In the last few years, you can see how the winners have gone. Steve Kinzer, Mark Kinzer, Lasoski, and Craig Kinzer. Basically, it's, it's been all about Kinzer's and Lasoski's here since 1991, except for Dave Blaney, who is now a star in NASCAR's Nextel Cup Series, who came in and upset the balance in 1997, as you see Steve Kinzer getting a drink of water. Well, that's pretty incredible. If you look at how many years that is, that it's been only one other name besides those, Kinzer and Lasoski, to win this race. That is incredible, especially how tough this race is to win. Of course, Steve and Mark Kinzer, cousins, and Craig Kinzer, Steve's son, Absolutely. who won it here last year for the first time. There's a good look at the dude. Over 80 victories on this famed half mile. Four times he's won the Nationals. And he's going to need every bit of that experience around this racetrack tonight up and get through of this B main. He told me he's going to need two yellow flags. Well, he's going to, I, I would say at least two yellow flags, but obviously a lot of things have got to go his way. Those yellows have got to fall at the right time also. He said if he can pick when those yellows came, he'd like to see one about lap six and one about lap 11. Or he doesn't want to see him come and say he gets a big run through a corner and gets by two or three cars and the yellow comes out. These cars, they have to complete the lap. To be scored for that lap, he would get sent back behind him. So when he, if you make a big move on somebody, the last thing you want to see is a caution flag. So again, they have to fall at the right time for him. Now let's show you the starting lineup for tonight's B Main. Four cars will transfer out of this 22 lap main event onto the Knoxville Nationals A Main tonight. Brian Brown and Jonathan Allard on the front row. Look at that field of cars, drivers in this thing. It's, it's incredible, but that's what you get with this format here at the Knoxville Nationals. A lot of desperate drivers here in the back of this B Main just hoping that things open up and they can get up through there. A field full of track champions national champions, big time race winners, and they're all just hoping that maybe they catch a break here and make it just into the A-Man. Well, you work so hard and you sit in the opening, bring all your best stuff and you, you plan for this race, but you gotta have a lot of luck too. You gotta have things to go your way. Lasowski's gonna have to, have to hope for some attrition, some cars in front of him fall out and things like that to get him up through the field. Let's just listen to the rumble as these monster machines idle around. The one thing about driving a sprint car is you better be pointed in the direction you want to go when you drop the hammer because you're going to be there in a hurry. The weight to horsepower second to none in these sprint cars a lot of horsepower, short wheelbase. You, like you said, you better have it pointed straight when you mash that throttle pedal. And that rumble you heard, that's just an idle. Wait till they get up to speed. 
Uh, we've got a field of 22, the best in the world, set to fight for four spots just to get a shot at tonight's A-Main. And there's one thing about Doug Clark is you won't pull one over on him as a driver. Absolutely not. He tells him every night at the driver's meeting, you better be out, not out of line. Oh, uh, Danny? Well, yeah. Well, the, the car there, I'm not sure, moved, moved out, and Danny snuck up in there. Car right in front of him. Kerry Matson. Yes, that is Kerry Matson. Kerry Matson in the 11-H. And hey. how much of that is just the pressure of this whole thing, getting the best of a guy as they're about to go green and the that's, adrenaline's at full boil? That's just it. It, it. Right there, you said it in a nutshell. The, and the, the pressures of getting up through. These guys are desperate. These guys are desperate. They have got to make something happen. But really, Danny's starting on the last row. Didn't have a lot to lose. The penalty is to go to the back. He's back there anyway. Well, it looks like Madsen's going to get to keep his spot, though. They just took Lasoski back, so Madsen catches a lucky break. Well, moved him back one row, did Lasoski. He was actually, the B-main cars were behind him. Boy, Brian Brown with a oh, great start in contact early. Allard in the zero. He's had troubles and frustrations all night. Here come the guys back of the pack, firing up through the field. Here comes Matson, the 11-H, on the outside. He's picked off a half a dozen cars already. Lasoski, way up high, still just finally getting around the first car, and he hasn't completed that pass yet till now. And you saw Brooke Tatton on the bottom also coming out up from the back of the field. Boy, he can't waste any time. He's just gotten around Skip Jackson. The two laps are already completed. You gotta, you gotta get a lot more than that. Three wide almost as we come off of two. That's Jack Honshield in the 35. He also came out of the B main as we saw. Todd Schaefer in there in the 77 as we go back to the front with Brian Brown. Actually the C main, I should have said Honshield came out of the C start in the back of this B. Remember Look four cars will transfer. Brian Brown, Shane Stewart, Jeff Shepard, and Travis Riley hold those four spots right now. Those four golden tickets to tonight's A main event. There's Rylan in the white 29. One spot out of it. Jonathan Allard in the zero. Oh, and around he goes. Oh, just Gary Wright in the nine car just squeezed by on the outside. Well, there's the first caution Lasoski was hoping for, but he's only picked off three cars. He's going to need a few more. And poor Jonathan Allard, boy, his night just keeps spiraling out of control. Yeah, they had the, the engine trouble earlier. That might be the, what's the reflection we're seeing here. They've so, they focus so much on their engine and the misfire in their engine. They had to let the chassis work and all the tire selection, all that stuff go while they're working on the engine. And that might be the result of it here. That car definitely not very fast and as he loses the handle there out of the turn four. There's Lasoski. He's going to have Jack Hottenshield in that 35 right in front of him and in front of that is Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Well Jason Myers has already made it into the A main tonight Dave. The good news is you're not in this race. Jason tell me what do you have to do to win this race from fourth spot. Well I think you're going to kind of have to bide your time there a little bit tonight. The track looks really really good. It's going to be really wide and it's slowing down a little bit so that's going to make for really good racing. Hopefully we just kind of fall in place here at the beginning bide our time a little bit and uh, save the tires for the end. The last 10 laps are going to be real important when the fuel load comes off. How important is this race tonight coming up in the scheme of an entire season of racing? Well, I mean, this is everything. This is the Knoxville Nationals. There's nothing else you can say about it. This is the one you want to win. Uh, it's not about the money. It's not about anything. It's about winning the Knoxville Nationals. And uh, this one's real important to us. We've got a lot of great sponsors behind us and a great team. They work really hard for it. And I'm just hoping I can bring it home for them tonight. Jason Myers outside of second row. Watch for that 14 car. Look at the packed grandstands here at the 46th annual Knoxville Nationals presented by the Midwest Ford dealers. Every year, this town of just 8,000 people gets invaded 
by these sprint car fans with such a passion for this race. 